today's vlog, we visit the famous Chattachak Market, Lumpany Park and the Patpong Museum. Chattachak Market is easy to get to, with just a quick ride on the BTS or the Metro, with stops for both just outside the market entrance. There's a massive range of stores from second-hand clothing, art, local crafts and plenty of food options. It's a must visit in Bangkok, happening every weekend. It's best to visit in the morning before it gets too busy. Should be nice. Looks good, yours. Looks really good, yeah. All the other wines arrived. Looks really good. So today is our fourth and last day in Bangkok for now. Uh, this morning we're just gonna go over to a park, Lumpini Park. Um, it's like a really big. Um, green space with a lake in the centre of town um, which is also near to what we want to do this afternoon um, there is a museum so this afternoon we want to go to Pat Pong Museum which is like a history of the Pat Pong area and um, everything that's going on there so so we're in Lumpini Park uh, it's like a huge park, kind of like Central Park in uh, New York. Um, it's got a big lake in the middle. Um, it's a lot cooler than the rest of the city. I'm guessing because there's water and greenery and actual trees. Um, so it's really pleasant to walk around. Um, it's very quiet. There's not many people and uh, there's no like motor vehicles allowed in. So it's really nice. Um, there's lots of uh, greenery and there's also we can into birds. Oh that's a mosquito. I don't know if you can see it but there's like iguana -y dragon things in the water. There's quite a small one here but there was a, a huge one over there. There's loads of them. They're like lizardy things. Yeah, so there's loads of uh, funky animals like those uh, dragony things um, soon about. I don't really know what they are but yeah, they're those pretty amazing cool. amazing butterflies as well. I thought it was a crocodile from a distance at first but uh, no it's like a dragon. I'll show some clips of that I've uh, filmed some with my camera. <laughs> Oh, there is 
a tortoise. lizards and uh, Lumpany Park is full of them. They were reintroduced a few years ago and they're all over the place. So you have to be careful not to uh, stand on them um, if you're walking in the grass because uh, they'll be like hidden behind bushes um, just lounging about out of the sun. Uh, also I stepped on one earlier. Um, there's also loads of piranhas in the water. Loads of the locals are feeding them like bread and seeds. And there's like frenzies of uh, piranhas. It's really cool. So we're finishing walking through Lumpany Park and we're gonna go for lunch at a restaurant nearby. There seems to be loads of nice places. A lot of Japanese places around here. And then uh, after that, we're gonna go see if we can uh, buy a ticket and go to the Patong Museum, um, should be interesting. There's some people doing some sort of martial art um, and they have real looking swords with them. Um, I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, real swords. Museum is all about the history of Bangkok and the Pat Pong area with Soi 1 and Soi 2. The museum itself is located in Pat Pong, inside what previously was a strip club. The ticket includes a guided tour starting with a brief history of Bangkok and how the area came to be before you learn about the more famous aspect of Pat Pong. It's very interesting and worth a visit to learn something about a different side to Bangkok. It's still a living history that some clubs remain open to this day during the evenings.